This image of Kailash is like the crucifixion, inspiring awe and humility in millions of people for thousands of years. Japanese, they try to climb this mountain here. And then it's a, uh, actually they get this uh, permit from the mountain office, association office. But these local area people, they shot in, they, they, you know, they say it's not allowed to do this because this is the holy mountains to here. So from then, they stop this. Mm. So no one to try to go in this, uh, to do climbing for this mountain. But I wondered, why is Kailash holier than other mountains in the Himalayas? Specifically, a nearby more famous peak. Tibetans call it Chomolongma, mother goddess of earth. Westerners know it, less reverently, as Mount Everest, unceremoniously named for a British surveyor. It's only a couple of days' drive from Kailash on the border with Nepal. It's the tallest mountain in the world, which is not saying much here because six of the world's ten tallest mountains are in the Himalayas. Tibetans once considered Chomolongma as holy as Kailash, but outsiders changed that too. The first time I saw it was many years ago in Nepal, and it, even if you see it from a distance, what can you say? It's the biggest on earth, and it's massive, and uh, his white people have been obsessed with it for decades or centuries. The Western world's obsession to climb Everest turned this natural cathedral into a thrill seekers theme park. Thousands of people pay $50,000 or more to get in line to climb it. Some people from Brazilian, some Ecuador, some American, some from UK, like this uh, international group. The Westerners' only distinction between Everest and Kailash is like real estate. Location, location, location. Everest is easier to get to. Only three days from Lhasa, even fewer from Nepal. The industry that's grown up around the Everest phenomenon has been good for Tibet's poor economy. This is job I'm uh, doing uh, 24 years ago. So it's still now same job. I'm still doing same job. But it's taken a heavy toll. You know, Everest at one point seemed like a very uh, inaccessible place. But if one went there uh, in May of this year, you'd probably find, find 1,500 people uh, queuing up to go to the top at, uh, at least my understanding, at about $50,000 a pop. Now, I'm not even sure you can find 1,500 people waiting at Space Mountain or Pirates of the Caribbean at, at Disneyland, but it's about the same thing. It's people paying a lot of money to get on a, uh, a thrill ride. They've been leaving behind garbage and uh, oxygen bottles. There was a group that actually went up there this April to clean up some of the mess on, on Mount Everest. Consequently, Everest is now the Disney World of the Himalayas. Touristy, defiled, stripped of mystery. Its power now manifested in defiance and anger. Our group was all together 13 clans, but now then three of them, he frostbite his finger. Well, it was up to me. I think I had to close down Chomalangma. <laughs> they should just close it, huh? Yes, yeah.